Now that my blocking is cut, I need to make one last mark on the sill and on the header. Square them up side by side. And using the template, mark the rough opening width on both. And these are ready. For an easier view of the blocking assembly, I'll demonstrate it on this open stud wall. Pre-drill the sill at each end at an angle. And then start the screws. Set the risers in place. Then set the sill on top with the mark facing up and to the left. Check for level and adjust with shims if needed. Then insulate the cavity and relocate shims underneath. Then drive the screws home. Pre-drilling all the remaining blocking, as I'm showing here, and starting the screws will make the assembly so much easier because you'll be working in tight quarters. And next I'm going to the top to mount the cleats, but they need to be located at just the right place. Just place the trimmer here for spacing and stack your 2x4 scrap on top. Then secure the first cleat firmly on top of the scrap. Pull out the block and the trimmer and repeat on the other side. Reach up inside and refit the insulation down around the cleats. Install the header up under the cleats. Now, I'll locate and secure the trimmer with the inside face on the mark we made earlier. I only mentioned the trimmer filler before without any detail because now is the easiest point to cut it. Again, use your scrap and measure the remaining fill to the mark. You may use shims or some flat material scrap, which of course will tuck behind the trimmer. Or in this case, I just cut a solid filler. And drive in the screws. If you were installing the small pet door within 16 inch centers or any door within 24 inch center stud spacing, your blocking for the trimmer filler might look something like this. In which case you would probably drill your screws diagonally as you did for the sill. Conversely, if you were installing the large door within 16 inch centers, you won't use a trimmer at all.
Now I can cut out the remaining drywall using the framing as a guide. Thank <laughs> you.